Chapter 14 Secondary and Tertiary Occupations Secondary Occupations We get different types of raw material from primary occupations. However, most of it cannot be used directly. We need to process the raw material and make the necessary changes. The occupations that process raw materials and produce new materials are called secondary occupations. For example, textile, iron and steel or sugar producing industries. Machines are used in these occupations on a large scale in order to obtain maximum production in less time. As a result, mass production becomes possible. It provides employment to people and it helps in economic development of the country. Factors that influence the location of industries Availability of raw material, supply of labor, market, capital, energy resources as well as facilities of transport and communication and government policy are the factors that influence the location of industries. Iron and steel industry Iron and steel are required for the production of machinery for various industries, means of transport, defense equipment, etc. Hence, iron and steel industry has unparalleled importance in industrialization. For iron steel industry, iron ore, coal, lime and manganese are required. These minerals are heavy and hence their transportation is expensive. Therefore, this industry is found in the areas producing coal or iron ore. The Chota Nagpur Plateau has large scale reservoirs of iron ore and coal. Hence, the iron steel industry has developed in this area. Try to understand how the iron steel industry came to be located at Jamshedpur in India from figure 14.1. Cotton Textile Industry Figure 14.2 shows the cotton producing areas and the centers of cotton textile industry from Western India. Availability of raw material and climate are the major factors that influence the location of this industry. Cotton does not perish quickly. After removing cotton seeds, after ginning, cotton becomes lighter. As it does not lose weight during transport, it can be transported over long distances. Hence, this industry can be started at locations far away from the raw material areas. In humid climate, long thread can be obtained from cotton. Moreover, the frequency of breaking of thread is also low. Hence, this industry was initially developed at Mumbai, which has a humid climate. Engineering Industry This includes the industrial units producing machinery or spare parts required by other industries. The steel produced in iron steel industry forms the raw materials for these industries. It is used for producing various machines. Therefore, engineering industries are generally located in the areas where metal industries providing raw materials are present. Tertiary Occupations In our day-to-day -day life, we need a large number of services. From services like banking, health, entertainment, transport, to services like watch, repairs, sharpening of knives or scissors, all type of services are included in tertiary occupations. One needs to pay for these services. Let us get some information about a few of these services that form the tertiary occupations. Transportation In order to move passengers or goods from one place to another, we use transport services. For this, facilities like roads, railways, waterways and airways are required. Due to this service, different things can be reached in time at the place where they are required. 
fast moving means of transport help save time during disasters transport services assume immense importance tourism our day to day hectic life leads to different types of stresses hence we need some kind of respite in order to refresh ourselves we visit historical cultural places or places of natural beauty this is called tourism tourists need services like transport lodging etc this has given rise to the tourism activity tourism includes all types of services that are provided to the tourists trade the occupation through which the goods produced by producers reach the consumers is called trade trading ensures that the producer gets a price for his production and the consumer is able to purchase the necessary items by paying for them trade is carried on on various levels such as local national that is within the country or international trade contributes to the economic development of a country besides the services mentioned above society needs many types of services lawyers doctors teachers managerial experts provide services to us all these services are included in tertiary occupations the importance of tertiary occupations is increasing in indian economy adverse effects of secondary and tertiary occupations industries and various means of transport give rise to problems of pollution of air water and noise the proportion of gases like carbon dioxide carbon monoxide chlorofluorocarbon carbon etc in the air is increasing it has adverse effects on human life the noise created by machines in the factories and by the means of transport leads to noise pollution this leads to problems like deafening and psychological disorders the effluents released from industrial units sewage from big cities oil spills from ships lead to water pollution this endangers the aquatic life in order to reduce the levels of pollution various measures are now been made obligatory for major cities and industries it is necessary to create awareness in the society about pollution and its ill effects international trade organizations and treaties in the 28th century in order to achieve development various nations revised their trade policies after getting independence while doing so many countries impose restrictions on import this leads to certain adverse effect on international trade to overcome them political leaders economists and industrialists come together and advocate liberal trade policies this led to establishment of institutes like the world bank and the international monetary fund this progress in science and technology trade related deliberations under gat and measures taken for free trade led to the globalization of trade the nature of international trade has started changing since the last decade of 20th century gat general agreement on tariff and trade this global organization was established in 1948 many nations were member of this organization its main aim was to create a proper atmosphere for an open global market with reference to this the organization held eight rounds of discussion the world trade organization wto came into existence in 1986 through the discussion in gat in become functional in 1995 it is a permanent 
and legal global organization. India is a founder member of this organization. The scope of this organization is comparatively wider than that of GATT. SAARC, that is South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation. SAARC is a regional organization at international level. It was established by the countries from South Asia like India, Pakistan, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka and Maldives for regional cooperation. Bilateral issues are not discussed on the platform of this organization. All the nations of this organization are facing similar economic issues. This organization has proved very useful in solving these issues and creating a strong representation of the member nations at a global level. India had taken the lead in establishing the organization. Recently, Afghanistan has been included in this organization. Globalization Globalization of trade is a process. To put in simple words, globalization means making a local or regional level article or item available at the global level. Nowadays, the word globalization is generally used to indicate economic globalization. Through the process of globalization, international trade is becoming wider and more open. Different nations have started bringing their economies in tune with the economies of other nations. This has led to an increase in the trade. Foreign direct investments, flow of capital, migration of people and spread of technology.